does a 13 looks like? That's where I really wanted to use my computer. So let me see what other slides I have. So we want to see what actual 13 looks like, and then we want to see how to do them. And then we're going to go to the computer lab, and you guys are going to go through it. Now, I do have, I found out, SSH here. So if I can log into my account, I think I can show you guys how to do this. I have posted on Blackboard somewhere. Thirteen class material. There we go. So I post here things that we would need for this. So we're going to start to work with a new Ford 14 now, which we can't see it because I don't have a SMS in my computer. This new Ford 14 was developed by Juan, and it's much larger than what we have been using so far because we want it to be now in a domain that goes inside at places that have actually land cover so we can run this. Because the other one was really, really a low resolution mesh. So now you guys are getting a better mesh, more resolution mesh. That's the Ford 14. So that's given. Also giving you guys a 422 from Hurricane Irene that has asymmetric information. So we can now run the asymmetric wind model with this 422. I'm giving you guys already the NLCD file that we can use for this, and I'm giving you the Fortran code that you can use to build the 13. So it's all here. So what I wanted to do before we go to the lab is show you how does the build 13 code works. So let's take some time and explore that. And then you can do it by yourself. And then for your projects, you know, the sky is the limit. You can be as creative as you want. You guys remember what was the name? Tag. Stanley. Sorry, Stanley. Dot tag. Dot U Texas. Dot edu. Okay. 